Why is Back to the Future Part 2 censored on Netflix? Some seconds of the scene where Marty finds Ooh La La are missing just when the cover of the magazine is shown. Please try to fix Netflix's sin. They can't do this to the best trilogy ever. Dated back January 18th, and coincidentally, 2015. And it's just amazing that for all this time, all this time, we had been getting an alternate Back to the Future Part 2. But as of last night, Netflix has rectified their sins. They have restored Back to the Future Part 2 in its original form. The original timeline is now set back to what it was supposed to be. And thank goodness for that. What is up, my proper compadres? This is Justin here. And today we are going to be talking about an update to a video that I made a couple of days ago in regards to Netflix's censorship to Back to the Future Part 2. The video will be linked in the pinned comments down below to check out the details, but here's a quick rundown of what exactly happened. So Salty Nerd brought this to my attention, and again, a huge shout out to him. This would not have been possible without him. Uh, he said, Netflix, you want to explain to me why you edited Back to the Future Part 2, the original scene, you cut out the magazine cover discovery in two lines from Marty, and not even that, your edit was sloppy AF, what gives? And I retweeted that after he brought it to my attention. He said, here's the Netflix edit of Back to the Future Part 2. If they sloppily edited this, this beloved trilogy, who knows what other films they've tampered with without you even noticing. And as you can see, these tweets had been blowing up. Uh, it's these, this video alone got like 55 it's got right now it's at 56,000 it just refreshed 56,000 views so people are still checking this this is almost at 60,000 views so this is getting a lot of traction and it got a lot of traction from uh, of course starting with bounding into comics it's the first one i noticed this article linked my video in the article so uh shout out to one angry gamer thank you so much for doing that and as time went by you had headlines such as fans aren't having it with the back to the future censorship uh, netflix has been caught scene is edited and censored the internet's freaking out fans shocked and confused fans are outraged i even noticed a recent article from argentina which would explain why i've been getting a lot of retweets in Spanish that I can't understand. And you even had several YouTubers such as most notably Clownfish TV, which also really helped gain traction to this story. So shout out to Clownfish for also covering this story. And apparently all of this traction and all of this outrage, all of this attention that this story has received and it got enough traction to the point where Netflix had restored the original cut. There are now people who have accused us of fabricating this story. The one that was brought to our attention, however, was this guy uh, saying that this thread was an absolute lie. I'm watching it right now and the scene is there. Y'all are tripping over nothing. And then apparently Salty Nerd checked and was like, yeah, this definitely happened. Uh, they actually fixed it. This is a victory. This is something that doesn't happen very often uh, with streaming services, uh, with, with censorship. And this just goes to show just the amount of reach that we have as fans. We're not just a few people complaining on the internet. This isn't something that you know, we can just blow over. This means that we actually have a voice. We have been heard. This is definitely something I had not expected and in less than 48 hours, no less. But there are a couple things that I'm still a little confused about. How did this happen? Why did this happen? Was it on purpose? Was this an accident? Was this just a, a mistake that Netflix had overlooked for over five years? I have no idea. That is something that the intention is still a mystery. And I just want to give a shout out to Salty Nerd because without him, none of this would have happened. This issue would have kept been, would have kept being an issue but most importantly i would like to thank you guys without you without you guys liking the tweets liking the videos uh sharing them uh commenting and sharing your thoughts on what you felt about this issue without you guys without this collective effort this would not have happened and this just goes to show that we do have a voice when it comes to censorship the people have a voice and it's not very often that we have these sort of victories so 
aside from the Snyder Cut from yesterday, that was... <laughs> Yesterday was a good day, but this is only the beginning. This is only the first step in our part to stop censorship. However, this does not happen very often. So my point still remains, the point still remains, keep your physical copies because not everyone is going to act like Netflix on this issue. Not everyone is going to be willing to go back and right their wrongs, if you will. They will continue to censor our favorite films and our favorite TV shows because of modern day politics and what offends people in 2020. But that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Please join me and my friends this evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for this week in bullshit, my weekly live stream. Go check that out. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And please, most importantly, share this video. People are still discovering the original video, discovering these tweets, and have not been informed that the situation has been rectified. They think that we've been, uh, there's, there are a few people who think that we were just lying about this, but no, this definitely happened. Go watch my last video. I was on Netflix itself on the site. I screen shared it. Other people screen shared their versions. We have proof that this happened. Please let people know that this situation has been rectified. But anyways, guys, hopefully this is going to be the first of many victories that we have. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you all next time. Live long and proper and have a great day.